Joining us now via Skype to further discuss the rise in anti-Semitic hate crimes in America is Ambassador Yoram Ettinger, former ambassador in Washington and expert on United States-Israel relations and the Middle East. Ambassador, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you. My pleasure. So, uh, first of all, let me start with, you know, the ADL reports that hate crimes began surging during Trump's campaign in 2016, but have continued to rise well into his presidency. What's your initial reaction to that connection? Well, my, my realistic assessment based on my three, five annual visits to the U.S. for the last uh, uh, more than 20 years is that no one should be surprised by anti-Semitism in the U.S., but no one should assume that it reflects more than a very small minority in the United States. Uh, anti-Semitism has been part of what the U.S. is all about since the arrival of the Mayflower back in 1620. Uh, however, since 1620 also, uh, Judaism, the Bible, especially uh, the five books of Moses, have been part and parcel of the American story uh, socially, ethnically, religiously, uh, culturally. And, and I think maybe a very a good example uh, to that, that we're talking about the small minority, is uh, assessment of what I call the most authentic reflection of the American state of mind. And that is the House of Representatives with 435 representatives who are elected directly by 700,000 voters, constituents in each district. Now, that House of Representatives, along with the Senate, have been the most ardent, systematic, effective ally of the Jewish people and the Jewish uh, state, and that speaks volume. So, so I'm back. Ambassador, I, you know, I would agree with you. I, first of all, I, I agree that there is a large public support for, for the Jewish state in Congress and in the Senate in the United States. Uh, but at that same time, the ADL numbers speak for themselves. So why do you think, rather, let me rephrase my first question perhaps, why do you think that the anti-Semites, the minority uh, in, in, in the United States, feels more emboldened right now under President Trump's administration to, to behave the way that they've been behaving? I, I don't think it has anything to do with President Trump, whose mm -hmm. personal record, both his family, his late father, and himself, has always been very, very philo Jewish, and then philo Jewish uh, state. Again, it has to do with uh, enclaves, and I would say no more than enclaves, and I'm not trying to minimize the significance of that enclave of European imported uh, or American imported from Europe uh, type of, uh, of anti-Semitism. And it has its ups and its uh, down. But the test of the American society, just like the Israeli society, is not whether there are criminals in our society. The test is the way we deal with those criminals. And it seems to me, and I have no doubt about that, that the way the U.S. has dealt with different forms of anti-Semitism sure. does speak volume of the fact that indeed it is a minority and absolutely does not reflect not only a sense of majority, but it doesn't reflect the administration, it doesn't reflect the, the legislature, and it doesn't reflect the judiciary in the United States. All right, Ambassador, thank you so much for, for taking your time out of your day and uh, speaking with us today. Thank you so much. Thank you.